using this formula initial mass formula c minus current current mud weight into shoe tvd into constant so if i put the values of corresponding elements so c is 17.3 minus current mud weight is 15 ppg given to us and shoe tvd is 7500 so if i solve this equation i'll get 897 once i get 897 as initial mass i will put down this number in the kill sheet so blank kill sheet 897 as my initial mass okay so total string required to drill this well 5 inch drill pipe and six quarter inch drill collar. Drill pipe length is not given. So first thing that uh, I need to drill string volume calculation. Let us understand how to do that. So uh, this time we'll be working on this section which is highlighted by green heat minus case door length. That is 7500 feet. So I get 2500 feet as an open hole length. To calculate time, so same formula 859 divided by 26, 33 minutes. Okay. So this is how we can calculate open hole volume, open hole strokes, and open hole time for displacement. So what does it mean? This means that to displace from bit to shoe, I so once I calculate strokes, Using the same formula, vo volume divided by displacement, I'll get 3077. And time, pump strokes divided by slow rate, I'll get 118. So, this now is, we first we calculated drill pipe volume. Then we calculated open hole volume. And last we, lastly, we calculated case door volume. Now, if I add... So, case door volume plus open hole volume will give me total annulus volume. So, that is 360 plus 100.4, that will be 460.4. So, if I want to calculate strokes using the same formula, 3935 is the strokes and time is 151 minutes. To displace drill string, I need a volume of 168.5 barrels. Or I can say in other words this way, to displace surface to bit strokes, to displace surface to bit, I need to pump 168.5 barrels. And to displace bit to surface, that is to displace total annulus, I need a volume of 460.4. And to displace total well or full well volume, then I need 628.9 balance and the total time of circulation gonna be 207 minutes and uh, total number of strokes that i need to pump is 5376 strokes so from first page we can calculate then what will happen you will get this kill mud weight column wrong then along with kill mud weight you will lose three well total well depth that is TVD. So I consider 10,000 feet into constant. That will give me 15.9615 something. Okay. So I get 16 here. So I can calculate kill mud weight 16 ppg. Now let me calculate ICP. So we'll be working now on this section ICP and the given formula is dynamic pressure loss plus SIDPB. Dynamic pressure loss 300 is given in the question here. Plus 500 is SIDPP given, so that will give me 800. So, in your blank kill sheet, you can write down this way 800 psi. The formula is given to us is kill mud weight divided by current mud weight into dynamic pressure loss. So, kill mud weight as we calculated 16 divided by 15 into dynamic pressure loss is 300, which is given here. So, I get 320 psi. So, using this 320 psi, I can calculate, I will work on this section and cal try to calculate reduction. Now to, and K is nothing but ICP minus FCP. So let us 
find out icp minus fcp is 800 minus 320 will give me 480 now using this k and i can calculate 33.3 and there is a round of law for this uh, whenever you need to write down reduction for 100 strokes or for any number of strokes you have to round down and write down the number complete number just neglect the decimal points so this is how we can calculate the kill sheet 